Hi guys and welcome back to Living with the Lindsays. In this video, I will be showing you my son Junior's skincare routine. If you want to know how to take care of your baby's skin and keep eczema at bay, continue watching. So when Junior was born, his skin was perfect. It was pretty and clear and soft and smooth. Then a couple of weeks after, he started to develop what many know as cradle cap, but the extreme case is suborg dermatitis. And he had pretty bad eczema. So as you can see, his suborg dermatitis or cradle cap covered his head and his forehead and he had really bad eczema that turned his skin red his arms his legs everywhere was just very bad we tried so many products and so many things and nothing seemed to help however at four or five months we found something that really worked and we have been using it ever since and this is our routine so at that time we prepare his things and as you can see we use Cetaphil lotion and Cetaphil soap. So when it's time for bath I use a generous amount of Cetaphil soap and it does not sud which is good because too much soap would strip the skin and leave it dry. So this is a very good soap for persons who have eczema or are troubled with dry skin. So I bathe him from head to toe. For his head, he still has a small amount of suborg dermatitis, which displays itself as dandruff. So from time to time, I get in and scrub the scalp with the same soap that I use for his skin. After bath, I dry him off and lotion him from head to toe. So I lotion his face, his arms, his legs, his chest, his back, everywhere that has skin gets lotion. I also use this diaper rash cream called Desitin. In my estimation, it is the best zinc oxide cream and it has helped for both of my kids. So today I'm using the purple one. This one is extra strength and I'm using it because he has some bad diaper rash. And so the one with the extra strength will help to clear it up. But normally I use the blue one and that one is very mild and I use it on a daily basis. So afterwards I go in with the Skiderma. Now this is a steroid cream. And it is not over the counter it has to be prescribed by a doctor and this has worked on his skin really well if we don't have Skiderma we would use Advantin this is also another excellent steroid cream for eczema and it has to be prescribed by a doctor so what I do I look for the areas that are affected and I put a small amount of cream because it's steroids, you don't want to put too much of the cream on the child's skin. And I do this for every part of his body that seems to be red or breaking out. Now, it is advisable that this steroid cream be applied twice a day for five days. At first I did this, but now I just put the steroid cream as needed because he does not have as many breakouts as he used to. Now for his, 
his scalp I go in and I would put a little bit of scoderma if I see an affected area recently he has been breaking out and the dandruff has been really bad in his scalp so I'm going to put a little scoderma on the scalp I also put a little lotion on the scalp as well and I grease the other parts of the hair that are dry with Vaseline And that's it that's his skincare routine if he is very bad with the eczema I would apply the cream twice daily now the cream is very nice and moisturizing so it really adds moisture to the skin so he's all ready for today now if you enjoyed this video please click the subscribe button like comment and share and don't forget to click the notification bell if you want to know when we're uploading more videos see you next time